Yeah. Let's go to Benjamin in California. Benjamin? Hey, guys. Hey, Ben. I thought I'd um, pass along something um, uh, that I found really handy. Uh, if you're an activist out there and, and you're ever found in a position or you think you're going to be in a position where your phone might be taken from you as, uh, as evidence or, or whatever is made up, um, if you get Google Voice um, or use Google Voice, it can make it so that uh, ha- not having your phone is much easier to deal with. I saw I saw you post about that on Facebook, and I think that's a, a nice uh, answer. I use Google Voice for everything right now, anyway. Um, so yeah, I could just go to a web browser and check my messages if my phone had been confiscated. Or you can right? route your uh, phones uh, f- phone calls to another um, thing. So, for instance, if I lose my cell phone, um, I still get my calls on my home phone. Mm-hmm. Right. And I've just, because I was thinking about it, uh, you know, dealing without my cell phone, because somebody's saying, well, why don't you just get a new cell phone? And I thought to myself, eh, that's a lot of hassle. And then, plus, I'm still getting my calls mm-hmm. and I'm still getting my messages. I haven't, I mean, it's been difficult. And, and you know, obviously, having a cell phone is, and, and having it mobile is. What do you think about uh, right? giving one of the largest corporations in the world your um, control of, uh, you know, this, this valuable information about you, this valuable and personal information about yourself? You know, I'm not really freaked out that much by Google. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they just gather so much information that uh, I, I feel like, you know, you get lost in the mix, and so it's just going to be some kind of, you know, uh, computer program, you know, searching through stuff for keywords to give you better advertising. Um, there was an incident where Google um, showed the I think Center for Disease Control that they could predict a flu outbreak before the anybody else could. And they were successful in doing so. I don't know in what strange way they went about doing this, but they they did it. And so, you know, to me, and and they also worked with the Chinese government at the same time. And I find these things disturbing. I generally feel like you do, that it's not that big of a deal, but I find them disturbing. Well, obviously, they have the potential for, you know, great harm or whatever. But uh, at the the moment, I don't see that as a big deal. And if... uh, I don't want something to be known about me. I don't put it anywhere near an electronic device or, commu- you know, don't communicate it over anything except, yep. you know, word don't, to mouth to mouth. You know? Don't put your social security number on the Internet at all. <laughs> right. So I, I just, I, I, I thought about this and I thought to myself, you know, activists should definitely have Google Voice because it, it can prevent a lot of hassle in the future. For gotcha. You. Ben, thanks for the call.